My name is Bradley Harrington, and I'm from the Malox Band of Ojibwe in Central Minnesota. I went through Blandon, I believe, in 2014 through 2015, and uh, went back to my community to, uh, you know, I went back to my community to uh, be a better advocate and uh, person of support for people uh, experiencing uh, chemical dependency. My community was facing some uh, ODs and OD deaths and they're happening around uh, every week for an OD and about every month for an OD death and the community was uh, the community was really, really starting to boil over in, in uh, the opioid epidemic. I, I reached out to another person that works in uh, chemical dependency advocacy and I, I, I said, man, we gotta do something. The community really needs to get together on this. And as we talked, we decided that we would uh, do a smudge walk and what we wanted to accomplish was getting a large-scale community effort with Ojibwe traditions uh, at the forefront of it. And the reason why we wanted, we chose smudging was that that's an act of cleansing. We wanted to bring good spiritual energy into all these areas to help the people that live, work, play that just that go to those areas and we wanted, um, we wanted to wash away the bad energy bring in the good energy to really have an impact we had a, a feast and um, community member testimony we had kids that <clears throat> we had kids that got up and talked about their parents we had siblings that got up and talked about their relatives, grandparents that talked about their kids. Some of them had lost some of some of them, and that's uh, it was really tough, really really tough stories to tell for them. And, um, everybody got a big charge from it. And, um, that was just one spiritual thing that we were able to do for the community. And, from that, we've seen an uprise of community activism. And I don't want to attribute all that just to the smudge walk alone. I think it was just uh, a part of well, what was coming together in Mille Lacs and, and people getting involved. Without the Blandon training, there, there's been a lot from Mille Lacs that have went through Blandon. Without the training, we may or may not have got it done. But I believe with the Blandon training and uh, those of us that learn ways to bring communities together, I think it greatly contributed to not just the success of the Smudge Walk, but to the bigger community effort in Mille Lacs. Um, there's more people talking about how they can be included and there's people like me and plenty others that have had training to provide that opportunity for them so i think that was one of the blandon really set me on a on a course to where uh, i believe i i make a larger more positive impact on the community